new video. This, I found this one, and I'm not gonna give any context other than the description says, fat is not a bad word and I will die on this hill. From diabetes. <laughs> We're gonna get into the fat jokes. We're gonna get into this video. Um, hashtag fat acceptance, hashtag fat positivity, hashtag fat photographer, man. Already we can see that there's a, uh, this is oozing identity. So let's just hear what you have to say. I haven't watched this video. I don't know what this person is going to say. So this is going to be a clean slate first off. Let's see what happens. All right, let's get into it. So I want to talk about why I have the word fat in my business name. Hi, my name is Holly. I am the owner of Fat Darling Photography. And that is me. I'm your fat darling. And I just really want to talk about why I decided. Sorry to pause so soon. I guess just general rule of thumb, try not to use these labels to define who you are. It's about, uh, these are things that reflect what you are to other people. Like I understand, especially if like people are always saying these things, they're trying to ingrain it into your brain. You're trying to like use it as a shield, but it's like treat them solely as a classification. It doesn't mean anything else. It means whatever these words mean to each individual person who applies it. But like to you, it should just be like, all right, this is what I am. And if it's a bad thing, then it's something that I could try to change instead of manifesting an identity surrounding it that's dangerous to your your well-being before we even finish i mean or even go further i just have a feeling that this person's gonna has tried has built their life around this and has found ways to rationalize it so the being overweight at an unhealthy weight right because that has all sorts of uh health ramifications in the long run all right let's just let's keep going why i decided to have the word fat in my business name so growing up, I have always existed in a bigger body pretty much. There's been lots of dieting, lots of weight cycling, some disordered eating. And then there was lots of unlearning and um, realizing diet culture is kind of a scam. And that diet's... Diet culture. Sorry, real quick. Ooh, what the fuck? No. No. It replayed it, goddamn. All right, I want to look that up. Diet culture definition. Because there's a diet, but... Does that pertain to the culture around it? Because culture tends to be stupid. Diet culture is a set of cultural beliefs that prioritize thinness, appearance, and shape over health and well-being. It can be negative consequence. It can have negative consequences on a person's well-being, including poor mental health, negative body. All right, I guess you're not wrong about that because the diet itself has no pertainment. Is that a word? <laughs> to the effectiveness? No, it's not a word. Pertainment's not a word. Uh, has no, it doesn't pertain to the effectiveness of the diet itself. Again, the same thing applies to that, right? Diet culture, don't apply all these things to this thing. Just do the thing and try to get results. And don't build an identity around it because that's dumb. Identities are, are false ideas of what we should be and how we how we think we're supposed to conduct ourselves. All right, let's go. Some disordered eating. And then there was lots of unlearning and um, realizing diet culture is kind of a scam and that diets don't work in my later 20s and finding the fat acceptance move. Diets don't work. All right, we've reached the rationalization. Diets do work. Uh, they're effective. And I'm not just saying this because of my own personal experience. I'm not saying this because it's worked for other people. I'm saying it because science says it. And it's testable and it's verifiable. And we understand these things. We live in a time and place in which we can understand these things to a better degree. If it doesn't work, you either didn't do it right or you didn't find the right thing that is easiest for you to lose weight. Because there's a billion different ways. In my particular case, it was keto. Lost over 100 pounds in less than a year. I used to have disordered eating. I used to be hopped up on meth, uh, meth, meth, amphetamines growing up, right? ADHD meds. And I just didn't eat throughout the day, binged eat at night, became super chunky. Plus I was surrounded by people who thought that stuff was normal. And I had to not nor I didn't, it's not that I normalized it to myself. I just didn't pay attention. Then I got to a point where I was like, oh, okay, this matters. And then, and people were treating me in accordance to this. And that's not, again, that's not what, not again. That's not what motivated me to want to change these things. It's because of my own mental health, my own image of my own body. Um, and it worked because I found something that worked. And I've tried a bunch of stuff, a lot of which I hated, a lot of which was grotesque. And I, I studied, researched, verified it for myself, followed through with it, stuck to it, and it worked. So it's not that diet didn't work. You just didn't 
you didn't go about doing what, uh, whichever diet that could work best for you in the right way. You didn't try hard enough. So. Acceptance movement and really just learning that I am allowed to exist. I am allowed to treat my body the way I want to and that works for me. And I don't have to try to pursue weight loss or be in a smaller body. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want. It's just a question of whether or not it's beneficial for you overall. That's a different thing. You're just stating stuff. And you're, you're, you're relying on these types of rationalizations to just justify your inaction to, to make excuses for your difficulties when it comes to this. And, and don't get me wrong, diet's hard. All that stuff's really difficult. But you just got to keep trying. You can find a way. There, there are ways to get past it. It's not easy, but there is a way. And you only fail when you give up. You don't fail when you lose. Because losing is, an, in, is a necessary part to succeeding. Because that means you're trying. And, and losing is inevitable as a result of trying. And granted, I can't sit here and tell you that succeeding is an inevitable result of trying. But succeeding or trying is a mandatory prerequisite in order to succeed. Is that even true? I don't even... Some people can just succeed for not even trying when it comes to all sorts of stuff. I guess when it comes to dieting. We're talking about specifically dieting. <laughs> Disregard this stuff. In this particular case, what I say is true. All right. Yeah, let's keep going. So with that, I've even become a fitness instructor in a larger body. I have learned how to eat in a way that um, works for my body and nourishes me the best. And I still exist in a fat body. So growing up, of course, in a fat body, there's especially in the early 2000s, there was relentless bullying. All right, that's when it kind of steps into scumbag territory. Don't. Again, that's you, your choice choice to neglect your health and make rationalizations towards it. But, and granted, it's also other people's choice if they want to associate with that. You're probably, you know, you're probably getting people who are just as delusional as this person coming to f them for fitness advice. <laughs> Diet culture is a, sham, is, a, is a sham. Sure, I could agree. So is fat acceptance. That's also a scam. It's all just different things that people tell themselves to make themselves feel a certain way about whatever it is that they want to feel a certain way about. So, oh, man, look at that freeze frame. Sorry, oh, let's, let's keep going. That was such a scary word for me. It was the worst thing I could be called. I tried to distance myself from it as much as I possibly could because that was the last thing that you were supposed to be, especially as a young woman. So with learning that I can actually just thrive in the body I have and treat my body the way I want to, that works best for me. I have learned that fat is not about... It works best for you emotionally, but your physical health is going to pay. You're going to pay for it physically. And eventually emotionally, because physical health is an intrinsic aspect to your mental well-being. Those things, they work together. They're not separate. Yeah, and this is just, you know, delusion. This isn't really anything too crazy or out of the box. I've seen stuff like this all the time. This is just an intrinsic aspect to just humans in general being delusional. And trying to find ways to satiate their emotional state. But it sucks that this is what this person landed on in their life as a way of doing such. So... Yeah, it's tragic, but let's witness it and watch it and share our opinion on it and view. That is not a bad word. It's a descriptor word and I have reclaimed it. I am okay with existing in a fat body and being fat. And I want to hold space for people and know that you're allowed to exist just as you are. And that is a little, and you deserve to celebrate that too. I just realized, I really hope this music isn't copyrighted. That would suck. Might have to do some editing effects if that's the case. God damn you. Because it was muted on TikTok. I had to download this video to play the sound. God damn you, fat lady. Don't... I swear to God if this goddamn music is copyrighted. Also, no, don't celebrate bad stuff. At least stuff that's bad for, your, for you overall. Don't celebrate delusion. I mean, granted, that's part of delusion. You kind of just do whatever you want. But, yeah, I'm just thinking about the copyright. I swear. I swear. You better fucking not. <laughs> it's better not be you fucking copyrighted. Like, you deserve to celebrate exactly how your body exists right now. And I want to help you do that. Because life is so short. It's 
Spark knows version. She wants to help you indulge in the, the same delusion that she has and wants to surround herself with people like that. So, yeah. Don't, uh, don't be like this. Uh, you will suffer in the long run. Life is so short, and we are not guaranteed. It's made shorter if you're obese and you don't take care of yourself. <laughs> All right, delusion. Sorry, never, never mind. Ignore that. Any other coming moment. So I truly believe that we deserve to celebrate and love our bodies as they are because they are carrying us through this life and doing everything they can to protect us and keep us on this earth. Yet you're doing nothing to protect your body in return for what it does for you. Except lying to yourself and saying you can treat it however which way you want. Which you can. You can do whatever you want, dude. As to whether or not it's good or bad, that's an entirely different discussion. A discussion of which you're on the wrong, wrong end of. So, it's alright. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. So, I want to celebrate that. I want to take rad pictures of your body and celebrate you and how wonderful you are and yeah uh, reclaiming the word fat has been big for me and again i just want to hold space for other people so that is why i put fat in my business name um i hope you have a wonderful day and sending you so much love oh thank you i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you find a way to lose weight and stop lying to yourself um and I hope that your, the music that you chose for the video isn't goddamn copyright, I swear. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, it's person delusional. The stuff that they're saying, if you play into this, you're going to suffer in the long run. It's difficult, losing weight, yada, yada. Find something that works for you. Keto worked for me. If you want to see exactly what it was that I did, I'm going to link a video uh, that I made about my weight loss and hopefully it could help you in some way and maybe it could be something that um benefits you so um yeah don't listen to people like this uh, if you want to do better in life 